Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Okay, now we're, we're driving through Draxhall today and we're going to drive through um, and take a look at some of the new residential communities that are being built or that are built actually. And these are very large communities. Now, Draxhall Estate has a lot of homes in it, hundreds. But we're not, that's, we're not going through there today. That's just to give an example. In addition to the ones we're going to look at now, there is Draxhall Estate and there's another complex down in Priory that has thousands of homes in it. Okay, straight ahead is one of the gated communities on the left. You can see homes upon homes upon homes. And as you can see, it's one of the modern looking complexes, gated community, the walls, very secure. Um, they're not going to let us see, but we're just going to take a look, just drive by. And there are numerous complexes like this in Draxon. Richmond Estate is the name of the complex in it's in Priory it's a little down from Draxhall but it has thousands of homes very nice homes gated community it has like probably 12 different subdivisions down there 12 different complexes with different names but Richmond Estate the first one is probably the most popular one so this whole area between Draxall, Draxall Estates and Richmond Estates, thousands of homes, thousands easily. Okay, but this is Draxall we're focusing on now. So Draxall is a straight residential community right now. They've recently built a KFC and a Pizza Hut and uh, okay, this is another complex okay. probably could have sneak in behind that car but why why risk it why? okay Drax Hall Manor is the name of this complex just giving you an idea of how built up Drax Hall is now with residential homes so KFC just opened recently, probably a month ago. The Starbucks just opened recently. Okay, this one now straight ahead is a Drax Hall Country Club. And as we said, further down the road, we didn't drive by there in this video, but there's Drax Hall Estates. Just to give an example of how developed Drax Hall has now become with residential properties. Yeah, so they just opened the KFC, one of the largest ones in the country. They just opened the Starbucks, which is probably the largest Starbucks in Jamaica. And that Starbucks in Draxhall is the only one that has a drive through It's the only drive through Starbucks in Jamaica. So you can see a lot of potential and plazas are being built in Draxhall. So it's just a matter of time before more infrastructure comes down here. So this is definitely a community to watch. Okay, on the left is another gated community complex. Let's look at the name, Draxhall Polar Villas. Okay, now straight across the road on the hill, you have even more developments, residential developments going on. But these are, are completed. These are we just looked at are all finished. Straight across the road you can see some very nice homes. And further down you can't see it in this video but further down if you on the hill a lot of development is going on. A lot of homes, town houses 
apartments are being built on the hill. And that's in the Draxall area itself. And the infrastructure in since in Draxall, they don't really have much government infrastructure. I don't even think Draxall has a police station for itself. Okay, straight across the road, those houses we're looking at is the Vista Del Mar. I don't think Draxall has a post office. So you find that the persons that live in these areas, like Draxall, they're going to Ocho Rios. Or they're going to St. Anne's Bay, if they need to go to the bank, if they need to do any sort of government business. The tax office is in St. Anne's Bay. They have one in Ocho Rios. So it's a straight residential area. Okay, and the right is the total drag zone. Now, if you want to go back to Kingston and don't want to use the highway and you're driving a truck, you have to turn right here and go over Chalky Hill. This road takes you into Steertown and then from Steertown you go over Chalky Hill and then you end back out in Money. Trucks are not allowed to go through Fern Gully, so they have to take that road there or go on the highway. But if you go on the highway, the truck is considered class three and you pay a very high toll. A very expensive toll. Okay, now over here is a gas station. This is the Booth Drax Hall. Very nice facility. It's very new. Now they have a supermarket, and this is probably the only supermarket in in Drax Hall. So as you can see, it's not really a convenience store for the gas station. It's a full supermarket. And I think they're open 24 hours, but it's, it's a very busy location. All right, so this is the Booth Texaco, in, sorry, the Booth gas station in Draxall. All right, now that we leave Draxall, we're going to draw, go into a community called Mami Bay. And now Mami Bay is, it's, I don't need to have residential homes. All of them are villas, hotels, tourist stuff. That's like a 180 from Draxall. It's, they, I don't think they have any infrastructure like post office or anything like that either. But as we said, Ocheros is just up the road and St. Anne's Bay is down the road. So now we're going into Miami Bay. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Have a good day.